Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am filming today my long-awaited hair curling routine. So this is the one everyone kind of asks me what I do when I curl my hair on Instagram. So today I'll be filming that for you guys. All you're gonna need is two different curling irons. And if you just have one, it's not a big deal. I personally use these two and they're inexpensive. I'll go ahead and link them below for you. One will be a curling wand that I use around most of my hair. And this is more around the front frame and it has a little, Clasp the top, that's why if you saw something come out. And if you want to see more makeup and fashion and beauty tips, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell right by the button so that you guys can get notified of all my future uploads. So this is basically my hair. I didn't blow dry it, I didn't do anything. It's just air dried, I brushed it out so that's why it's like a little extra frizzy. But I'll just start off with some heat protectant and I use the Monate Studio One. I mean, I use the whole Monate line, that's why I'm using their heat protectant. But if you don't use their line, you could use something else. If you wanna know about their line, just message me or DM me and I will tell you why I love them and why I think the hype's actually worth it. So just run it through your hair and then start clipping it up. So I'll take from my ears up and just kind of clip it out of the way. Where'd my clip go? There it is. Just kind of clip it out of the way. I'll section the two pieces on the bottom and I'll just start with this, this side. So grab like a one, one and a half inch piece of hair and then grab your curling wand and I'm gonna just start wrapping it around. I hold it for just a couple seconds. And then I let it go. And then just kind of do this little guy so it cools. You see it's like a little ringlet. Um, it won't stay like that, don't worry. And then you're just gonna kind of keep going through this whole part of your hair. So I'll curl one of them under and then one of them over just because I like to have the contrast. Um, in my hair and I feel like when you kind of brush through it at the end it gives you the best like kind of natural tossed look versus it looking super uniform for just the way I do my normal curls and that's it and you just keep going um take another piece wrap it around hold it for a second or so the lighting is not super good I'm sorry I hope that you could see and then let it go. Again, I just kind of like hold and like, hold and like let it cool. Ooh. And then I'll move on to the next little piece. This wand, personally, I found to be my favorite. I think it's like $20 on Amazon. Again, I'll go ahead and link it below. Um, but it holds curls so well, like more than any type of one I've ever, I don't know, it's just like something, I don't know, there's something really cool about this. And it has that kind of tapered thing, which I never thought I'd really like, but I do. And the thing is the curls that just always will loosen out anyways, which is actually what I want. So I'll start them with the one inch one like this. And then when you kind of brush it out at the end and just like over the course of the week, it just smooths out. And it almost looks like you get all these different curls all week. Like you curled your hair a different way, but you didn't. Ow, it was hot. It's like you curled your hair a different way, but you didn't. It's just kind of loosening out every day. Can you see these little guys? All right. I'm gonna go like over and under. I really don't know if I've gone over or under the whole time. It's actually hard because I don't have a mirror. Normally I'm doing it in like a little mirror, but. Yeah. And now let's go to the other side. So the next part, I'll take just 
not the crown of my head, but from here kind of back. It's like side almost of my head, like this part. And then I will clip this up and out of my way. And then I'll keep all the ones that have been curled kind of to the back or to the side. See how bouncy they are? So good. Um, and I'll start the same exact process. So take an inch, inch and a half, and just start curling. No, I don't. That's just the song. Obviously. And then now I do the same thing. You'll just take I'll take a little the side section right here. So not at the crown. So anything from here all the way to the back, I'm basically clipping up. And I will do the same thing. Done. Say it like last, however you do it. Okay, so you'll leave these guys kind of out of your way. And what I'll do is I'll take just that crowned little section, like right there. And then I'll clip this part out of my way. Cause this last section is the last section that I'm gonna do with the, um, <laughs> with the, other curling iron. And then I'll just start taking little pieces and work my way across this way. Um, and on these ones, I actually curl all of them under. So I put the curling iron behind and I curl it this way um, because it, it'll allow for a lot more body. So you know how I curled the front piece on the right just a second ago and I was just showing how it like held really well. It's the same concept. So if you curl this part over, it'll allow for a lot more volume because it'll be like this versus like this. Does that make sense? And then, yeah, you just work through the whole crown of your hair. This is the one I was talking about, like it kind of holds that way. All right, so I think, like I'll always do like a little check to make sure if I like missed any pieces, but and now for the last part, a middle, something like that. And so then I'll clip back one of these sides at that last little part, and I'll just work with this. OMG, I feel like I did the last little section didn't record, but I just went through the curls on this side. I'll show you exactly what I did on this side. I didn't do one thing different, um, to be honest. So it's the very, very last, you know, section, crown of your head. I parted my hair down the middle, so um, it's really just working with what you have left. The rest you could kind of move out of the way. And you take little sections, and this is where I take the one that's um, one and a half inches. Again, I'm gonna link that below, the exact one that I'm using, not that you need this exact one. 
take it over, wrap around, and then fold it. So the wider, like one and a half inch, just allows you to really have the um, looser kind of natural curls around your frame of your face and the top. Because the bottom ones are going to loosen out over time. Um, and it's going to, so we see the wider kind of curl. So those are going to loosen out over time, but then the ones on the top, you kind of want them to be where you want, right, when it's styled. And I just like that look of it being kind of a little, like, softer. And so, again, I'll open, I'll clamp down, and then I'll wrap around. I want my curls going out of my face, so I'm going to take the clamp from the bottom and kind of, it's almost like varicosity. I'll wrap it around and I will let it curl. And if I want to just make the like first little part a little curlier, I'll just take that on its own and hold. And then once it's all curled like this, it's still in those tighter curls, especially at the bottom. Normally, if I don't have my makeup on, that's when I would do it and I'd continue to let these guys set. But since I do, I'll just get straight into it. I'm using the Essential Ovation Essential Hair Oil. I put like a little squirt. That came out weird. And then once you feel like your hair's cooled, I really just take my fingers and completely just run it through. And I'll decide, like, do I want to kind of put it to the side or on my ear? And it does because of how you curled it, like when you put it to the side, it has this like natural kind of hair flip too. Or if you want it down the middle. And then I will grab my hairspray, which is for me, the Monate Studio One. Again, I switched over my like entire product line to them. And I'm so happy I did it. My hair is like bouncier and fluffier than, do you see that? Ever before. And then do you see how the curls are? They're not, they don't remain in that ringlet form. So and this is ultimately the final result. I just, you know, wrung it out and I'll probably just leave it to the side because that's what I do. And if you like this video and you liked what you see and you want to get more tips and tricks on hair and fashion and makeup and all those different things that you want to see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the little like, and I will be back with more videos. Bye.